I'm expecting a great night for tailgating tomorrow night and great weather for the Longhorn football game. Guess what? I'm going to get it. Your wish is my command. <laughs> That's right. Now, in between now and then, we're going to have another round of storms. It's looking pretty likely. See, look, it's perfect. I won't have to mow the lawn in the morning because it's raining. Always trying to get off the go hook. to the tailgate. <laughs> I will say you though, tell you though that with the recent rain we've had, a lot of lawns that have been dormant starting to look it a little does. green all yeah. of a sudden. So it has been overall a very beneficial stretch. Now lingering rain chances and then drier weather just in time for the Longhorns game. If you're going to be like Walt out there tailgating, 88 degrees your high temperature tomorrow. Today's high was 89. How about three days in the 80s in the last week? Nice. 84 at kickoff, 77 at halftime, and 75 in the fourth quarter. Rain chances start at 20% and dwindle. Now let's get to the actual rain, which we still have on the way. Right now it's quiet, 78 degrees. We picked up officially just two one hundredths of an inch in Austin, but parts of Wilco picked up a half inch, and areas out west in the hill country saw upwards of an inch. Right now, everyone's sitting in the 70s for the most part. It's a little soupier the farther south and east you go. That's because that front, which has been down to our south, started to nudge a little farther to the north. It's made it into Fayette County. And with this boundary, that'll basically be the focus for more storms as we head into tomorrow. The ones I've been watching out west, those have fizzled, so I'm not thinking anything will develop during the overnight. Instead, we got to look all the way up north to near Amarillo for our weather maker that will be moving in tomorrow. So worth noting, there is a low end risk that should any of these storms get rowdy, we might see some hail or some high winds. How much rain? This is your worst case scenario or maybe best case because we still do need the rain. There could be some pockets of maybe an inch or two as this last round rolls through. So remember, it's up in the panhandle now. Let's track it overnight as it pushes by 6 a.m. It's only making it to I-20. Then we continue onward toward lunchtime. It could finally be making its way toward Mason, Lano and Burnett County. Then as we head into the early afternoon hours, there you go. Potentially heavy rain storms moving right through the I-35 corridor. Right around the time it's tailgate time, storms moving east. About kickoff, storms all gone. And then through the night, even the clouds start to part. Pretty good timing, I think. I have nothing to do with it, but Mother Nature is hooking us up, that's for sure. 20% rain chance late in the day after a high of 88 degrees for your Saturday. Then we look ahead to Sunday. Right now, I think that we will see mostly sunny skies for Sunday, but high temperatures nudging right back into the mid 90s. One little thing to work and look forward to is that by Monday, we wake up in the 60s with low humidity, so hot, but not as humid. We'll be right back.